Hi, I'm Mark W. Gray here to talk about virtual reality. Welcome to my 3D house of camera gadgets. Whoa. Now, virtual reality is video games mostly, but you can shoot your own virtual reality VR videos using a camera like this. This is the Kodak Pix Pro. It's a camera. It's actually two cameras that shoot two hemispherical videos to give you 360. You probably already know that or you wouldn't be looking for solutions of how to do it better. Now, the mount that this camera comes with is this. It's this little harness that holds both of the cameras. But I don't like it very much for a couple of reasons. It wraps around the top to hold all the heat in at the top. And also you have to unscrew all of this and take it all apart to get the cameras out to change the battery or change this, the compact flash card. And there's no holes at the bottom here. You can't power the cameras externally without drilling a bunch of holes in this thing. I mean, it's a nice selfie stick and everything, but even then, it's not central to the two cameras. It's offset, so you're going to see this stick a little bit more if you're trying to make it go away. So I invented an alternative, which looks like this. This is a red one. It actually comes in black. This is my design. But as you can see, it's got holes where you can access the cords and the CF cards on the bottom of the two cameras. So you can power them externally. It's got a quarter twenty hole on the bottom to go onto your tripod. and It'll go on a selfie stick just like this. So then you can use it as a selfie stick like this or put a little tripod on the bottom of your selfie stick and stand it up just like that. Uh, it doesn't wrap around the top of the camera so it lets the heat get out. So it's not likely to overheat and freeze up the camera. And it also, like I said, has this access port in the bottom. It's open on the bottom, so you can open the little trap door and get at the power supply where you plug in the, an external battery or take out the micro SD card that's in there. Now this is a red one that I printed when I got my 3D printer because it came with red filament. And it just has a hole in the bottom that I threaded out for screws. But the new and improved versions of my mounts all have a metal quarter 20 thread glued in there so you're not going to strip them this is higher quality than what i was selling just a little while ago now yeah these are red because like i said I, there are tests i made from the filament if you really want a red one let me know anyway the nice thing about this like i said is you can power the cameras externally using these short little pigtails it's still fiddly work to get it in there but if you know where it is, it's not that hard. And of course, it'll only go in right one way, like all USB cords. And then with the cords coming off the camera like that, I can now power this camera with an external battery pack like this, like you might use to charge your cell phone. Now, this battery pack and these plugs, I'll put a link to where you can buy them in the in the description below. I just got them on Amazon, but like you can get these anywhere at Best Buy or Target or whatever. Then I made a very simple rig to attach it onto here, which I've, I've taken apart for a reason I'll show you soon. The screw and the little peg that's on there should hold the cameras perfectly parallel. But just for a little bit of extra stability, I like to use a piece of cardboard. And this is a sticker that I'll send you along with this, or you can make your own. Just peeled off and stuck on a piece of thin cardboard like, you know, that you get from the post office in the flat rate uh, shipping box. And it just sits between the two cameras like that. So now, this is when you're out there with your monopod filming at Comic-Con, you've got the eye of Ra, right? And people see that and they go, what is that? Oh, it's 360 video, because it says 360 video right on it. And it says it on both sides. This is the invention part of this that I'm the most proud of, because this cardboard is out of the view of this lens, you see. It's in the blind spot, so it's not going to photograph, but people can see it and they know that they're being photographed. And I find if you're an early adopter for stuff like this, you're always having to explain what you're doing to people. And that could be the most annoying part of it. Well, no more annoying than the stitching and the hours it takes to render virtual reality videos. With the two cameras back to back, they give you a 360 spherical view that you can watch on YouTube and you can look all around inside of. And that is cool. But it occurred to me that I don't really care about that. I don't really like watching what's behind me. I don't want to turn all the way around. Like when you're in the movies, you turn all the way around. What do you see? The guy behind you. 
Nobody cares about that. I think 360 is kind of a boondoggle for that reason, because trying to program for a completely 360 immersive environment has limited applications. But if you buy this camera, and it's a very nice camera, and for my money, it's the best 360 out there for any kind of actual production you're going to do if you're going to spend less than $20,000. You can also take both of the cameras and point them forward like this. This far apart, the same distance as your eyes, and shoot 3D. And I've invented a mount for that, which I will show you now. And there we go. This is 3D. Now, my original mount looked more like this. It had a different profile. But when I got my own 3D printer, I learned a thing or two about what prints well and what doesn't. And I redesigned this to be nice and sturdy, using as little plastic as possible to keep it as light as possible and to keep the print simple without a bunch of uh, supports. So it prints on its back like this. This is a red one. Uh, you don't get a red one if you order unless you specifically want this one. They actually come in black and they look like this. But as you can see, it's got the openings. You can access the micro SD card and power it remotely. And again, you can use these pigtails to power it like this, put it on a monopod or a selfie stick like this, and go to town. Then it occurred to me that when you're shooting with 3D, and you can see some videos I've shot on Professor Puppet's channel of Comic-Con or VidCon in 3D shot on a monopod, it's pretty good. It's nice and steady if you have a nice big pole to put it on. But I thought, what if we could put this on a gimbal so you could move the thing all around and it would stay perfectly simple? So I figured that out as well. So I got this gimbal that's big enough for SLR cameras and made for SLR cameras, but I had to devise a mount to get the battery and the cameras all on here and get it to work in good balance. So I turn it on. Now I can go around and I can gimbal. Now this is what's called follow mode where I pan and it follows me. But for 360 in VR you don't want to be panning. So I just push it again and you get just regular mode. So now if I want to pan I use this little joystick and I can pan our little friend around. So now I can do really long, complicated VR shots that stay vertical, they stay plumb, they stay smooth without... <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is the iCan Beholder, which you can also get at a link in the description. Uh, I got it at uh, Film Tools, but you can get it on Amazon or anywhere. And uh, they have different sizes for different sized cameras. This is the Beholder 1, which is made for a DSLR, because I figured that's what I'm likely to use it for when I'm not doing this cool, you know, VR floaty robot stuff. Isn't that cool? And like I said, then I can tilt it and pan it using this little joystick down here. It's really an amazing piece of technology. And it stays perfectly balanced. That's just sitting on the, on the table like that. Pan a little bit so the folks can see you. There he is. What a cute little friend I have. So anyway, <clears throat> if you have a Kodak Pix Pro and you want to improve your game, you can order any of these mounts from me that you want. There's links in the description. Just go to rocketpictures.net. That's my website. Slash 3D with a capital D. And you can get the basic thing. This is the, uh, the normal 360 mount for the back-to-back. -back. Or you can get the... 180 3D mount like this, or you can get both of them, and it's a big discount, or you can get the Cadillac, which is this monster. This is the 3D stereo mount that also has room for this battery. And like I said, there's a link in the description to this very battery, so you can buy exactly the right one from Amazon. And like all the other mounts, it's got a threaded hole in the bottom here, a metal uh, bushing, I guess you'd call that, a metal threaded insert, so that you're not going to strip it on your tripod and it's going to come secure. And these screws are included that you can put your own on there if you want. And I print all of these right here in my 3D printer. They're custom made. And if there's a little bit of flash or a little bit of extra plastic on there, it's very easy to deal with them with, um, with an emery board like that. Or if these little pegs, these little posts that kind of go in the holes on the bottom of the camera to help keep it exactly you know, true, if they don't fit for whatever reason, if they're tight, just take a close look. And if there's a little bit of extra plastic, you can just file it off with an X-Acto knife or an emery board like this. Now, I know if you're into 360 video or VR, you're kind of a handy person who likes making things and creating things. So if you get one of these, you're probably going to adapt it to your own liking. Like what I want to do is get a piece of cardboard and stick it here between the battery and 
the mount so to wedge it in there a little bit better because it's just held in here by gravity. Uh, but also to make a sign here that says you are being filmed in 3D. So when I go up to people, they know, oh, 3D, and they'll start doing cool 3D stuff. I forgot to mention the lens caps. You get the two lens caps that come with your kit. And whenever I'm shooting stereo, it's always kind of a pain in the neck to uh, take them on and off. Because you'll be walking around and one of them will invariably fall off and you have to go and retrace your steps to find it. Usually what I do is I take a sticker and just put it on both of them so I can pull them off as one thing. But since I've been 3D printing, I made this little gadget, 3D printing wise, that holds them both together. It's got a little hole in there so that you could tie a little thread or a string to it and let it dangle if you want. But that replaces these two caps. I've got some extra stuff because they know me over there at Kodak and they, you know, like my inventions. So anyway, there. So now I've got the two caps on there and when I'm ready to shoot, I just can pull it off. The gimbal is tricky because it's so carefully balanced that any extra weight can put it out of whack. But there we go. Good old gimbal. Ooh, sha sha. Touch, touch. I do I. Now all of these parts I've developed over many incarnations and many different versions to get them uh, to where they are. Like this was my first, uh, this is actually my second 3D ring. It's made of, it's um, made of wood. The first one was just a piece of wood with two holes drilled in it. And then I added these extra blocks and things and screws to make it work for, uh, for, vid, for the stuff I shot at VidCon. And now it's this beautifully 3D printed device. Now, if you get one of these, it should work for you. It should be just perfect. But bear in mind, they're all individually printed. They don't come out of a mold. So if there's tiny flaws, they might need to be fixed with a little bit of a, an X-Acto knife or a file if there's an extra little bit of, of plastic on there. But like I said before, if you are the kind of person who is into 360 and VR or just making videos, you're the kind of person who doesn't mind a little bit of fiddling with things. Oh, I literally almost forgot. This is a Google Cardboard. This one is red and it's branded by YouTube Space LA where I like to hang out. They give these away all the time. Now, a lot of people are really trying to get people into VR, especially people like you who are likely to make VR. If you're a VR filmmaker, Veer, which is a new competitor of YouTube, they're a standalone virtual reality video portal. If you are a video creator, I think if you upload just, if you join up with them and upload just three VR videos uh, in the month of December, I believe they've extended this to everyone, but they will send you 10 of these, 10 Google Cardboards branded with your own artwork of your own production company, of your own film, of whatever. So you can be promoting this stuff to your fans and to your friends. And uh, I think if you do 10 videos, they'll give you something extra special, but they wouldn't say what, in the month of December. So check out Veer, V-E-E-R.com, or the V-E-E-R Veer app, and find out more. And tell them I sent you, or Professor Puppet sent you. I think I'm Mark W. Gray on, uh, on Veer. But like I said, you can watch this VR stuff on YouTube, but you can also watch it on Veer. And hopefully Veer will jump ahead of YouTube in the ease of use. But like I said, right now, if you're a creator on Veer, they will send you a bunch of these that are customized if you play your cards right. So go check it out and look into it, especially my friends who have already bought these, who want to be real serious VR Vanguard Mavericks. Veer's not a sponsor, they're not paying me to make this, but I think it's cool that people are trying this, and it's very cool that you can get your own customized Google Cardboards to hand out, because this is the barrier, is getting people to actually watch it. The technology is all complicated, and the gear is expensive and everything else, but it's getting people to watch it properly. That's the hardest part. But anyway, if you want any of this stuff or something else I haven't invented yet, leave me a note in the comments, or go to my website, rocketpictures.net slash 3D and order the custom made parts right there. If there's something different you need, something you don't see, just ask and maybe I can come up with it for you for the right price. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to me and to Professor Puppet. I put a lot of the 360 stuff that we do over there on his channel because he's got the subscribers, let's face it. Thanks for watching.